This playthrough is rated T for teen. I didn't realize the chapter was almost over. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, I'm back here with another episode of Hotel Dust 215. In the last episode, we, well, we found a fountain pen and we were basically a glorified babysitter because uh, this girl and her father just, the communication's not there. The mother's gone. She wants to see the mother. The guy's like, I can't, oh, well, we want to see her, but I can't. And there's some stuff going on there, but uh, we'll just have to continue on and see. But for now, we're going to have to switch gears for a bit. So let's go and leave the room that uh, we were in and head on out. What the? Destruction. Huh? Isn't that? Oh, that's uh, uh, the, the father, the deadbeat. No, wait, he's a doctor, so he wouldn't really be a deadbeat. You know what I mean. Hey, hey, some horses. What is it? How's Melissa doing? Melissa, I, she's fine. I think she's in her room. Why would you ask? Dad of the Year award for this guy. Because about ten minutes ago, she was in a total panic. What? What do you mean? Did something happen to her? She got locked in a room. She got locked in the closet. Ten minutes of heaven, or in this case, hell. What? Where is she? Easy, she's fine. I got her out a few minutes ago. I just sent her back to your room. Oh, okay. I don't know what to say. No, oh, thank you, or something like that? I don't know. I'm just saying. Yeah, where were you? Where are you during all this hubba baloo? So where have you been? You just, you know, just out of curiosity. Uh, <laughs> I, well, I had to go out for a while. Or, uh, well, I had to go out for a while. Hmm, interesting. To the roof. I was on the roof. The roof is on fire? The roof. If you'll excuse me. Just bug it on out of there. Kevin went back to room 219. Interesting. Well... Now we just gotta find our way to the, uh... You said the roof was open, so maybe we could find our way to the roof. So let's, uh... Yeah, roof label there. Let's go down that. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. It's the roof. We can go in. But yeah, apparently the roof's open. Don't usually they lock the door access to the roofs unless you're like, you know, employees or, you know, maintenance or something like that or, or security. Huh? Someone's here. It's a ghost. Oh, no, it's Iris. <coughs> yeah, we're on the roof. So we get to see the... Yeah, take a look around the roof just to show off. Yeah, that's where we left. You know, some uh, piping there, something like that. And then there's the hotel desk sign. There's Iris there. So, yeah, nice uh, nice change of pace. I mean, not much else to it, but hey. Now you can see the shadows of hotel desk. Very nice detail. All right, anyway, let's do it. talk to Iris. Or we could just ignore her. I don't know. <coughs> hmm. Apparently they're still working on construction, yet they just left it all up here. Oh, well. That was probably a long time ago, too. Oh, hello, is something wrong? Why are you here? <laughs> I came to see you, babe! No, uh, I just need some air. What, you own this roof? Knock it off. <laughs> I just came out to get some fresh air. That wouldn't be the only fresh thing about you. Fresh! You don't hear women say that anymore about guys or situations. You know, that's a definitely old-timey term. It's a bit cold, but it feels nice, don't you agree? Well, you need air, too, or something like that? I mean, you alone? Yeah, you want to make out or something? I don't know. I don't, I don't care. No. So you just came out to grab some air, huh? I dislike your tone, Mr. Hyde. How about this? Yeah, how about that for a tone? Are you applying some? Are you applying something? Just seeing if you had any other reason for braving the chill. No, no other reason. Mm hmm Are you this charming to all the ladies in your life? Does he even have any ladies? I mean, he's the typical detective where maybe someone, he could have someone, but it's because of his attitude or his, uh, you know, his, his mission to find Bradley has uh, kind of turned him off to uh, other ladies for now because he's got a mission, baby. Now, if you'll excuse me. No, she's a bugger off. Iris turns and leaves the rooftop. I wonder if she was really here by herself. Oh yeah, because wasn't the dad up here too? Dun dun dun. Okay, hi, think. Why did Melissa's mother up and leave? Why would Kevin take this kid to a hole like this? 
This whole thing stinks like last week's lunch. What type of lunch do you eat, Hyde? Well, you're a detective, a uh, former detective guy. You probably don't eat very well. Time to organize, Hyde. Take a second and get your thoughts together. Yeah, sorry for... I, I didn't realize that the, the episode was almost over, so I just, you know, cut it, uh, edited it and everything, and then I was, like, playtesting some stuff earlier, and I was like, oh, the chapter's over. I forgot about that, so... Oh, well. So this is going to be one of the few episodes where I don't end on a chapter, so I'll just keep going, so... <clears throat> so, yeah, we got your typical ask questions about... Just see if you've been paying attention, viewers. Have I? I don't know. Let's find out. In the evening, I went down to the restaurant for dinner... Before going, I ran into Melissa's dad, Kevin. Melissa's dad, Kevin. Kevin asked me about the dinner menu. What's on the menu, bub? Work? Nah, Melissa. That's right. He wanted to know if Melissa had told me anything special. And yeah, we know what that was. You know, what's special about that. I told Louie I wanted to get into room 217 where the other call hide stayed. Then I sat down and had a delicious meal made by Rosa the Wonder Maid. Wonder Maid! After dinner, Summer came by and yapped at me, but about... But what? What is it? Well, he doesn't drink. He doesn't want to be taught messed with. He wants a book group. That's right. It's like he's talking to us or something like that when he says it. Summer wanted to ask me about the box his notebook was in. Wanted to know if there was a, still a bookmark in the box. There was a picture of an angel on the bookmark I found in the box. It was based on a painting by a guy named... Yeah, you're never going to forget this name just because of how strange it is. Osterzone. That's right. It was a painting named Osterzone. The name of the painting is Angel Opening a Door. Opening a door to what? To our hearts. Melissa argued with her dad and then got locked in a room with no power. I fixed the switchboard, got power back to the room, and got her out of there. Yeah, no thanks. No thanks to the game emulation to, to that had to deal with the switchboard problem. The room Melissa was locked in was 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 two eighteen. The special room. That's right. Melissa got herself locked in two eighteen. But how and why? We don't know. Well, I mean, just the room was broken. The Melissa, uh, while Melissa was locked in her room, the room, her dad, Kevin, was nowhere to be found. Once we freed Melissa, he showed up, like a gosh darn jack in the box. When I asked him where he'd been, he said, "Well, he was on the roof. We just heard that a second ago." So that's right. Said he'd been up on the roof, which Iris was just there. When I heard that, I checked to go and uh, I decided to go and check out the roof myself. When I got there, I ran into Iris. I got ready for my first night at Hotel Dusk. I get the feeling that all the guests here are hiding secrets. And why Melissa's mom vanished is just one of them. But you're a salesman. Why do you care about all this mystery and some of them? There's also the guy with my name who stayed in 217 six months ago. A story about that bookmark picture got my wheels turning, too. So that's what gets you excited, Kyle. Too many mysteries in my life. I'm so damn tired. Well, I guess I better poke around and see what else I can find. Who knows? Something here may get me a step closer to Bradley. Hmm. Will we get closer to a step to Bradley? Find out? No, we're, we're going to keep playing, so. Sorry, I was, thinking, I was always thinking about cliffhanging just this early. <laughs> Chapter 4, December 28th, 1979. 7 uh, p.m. to 7, uh, 7 to 8 p.m. I'll try to be more uh, vetizent about like when chapters end in the future, hopefully. Because I, I like the idea of ending an episode where a chapter ends, you know what I mean? Oh, and apparently it turned night while we were up up there, so who knew? We must have been complaining for hours. Maybe it's time to look into this angel painting. Might help to find out about that Oster Zone fella, too. I just go dictionary or something like that. So let's on, head on out of here, so... Let's just go over here for no, for no reason. Actually, I think you just have to head towards the exit, but, uh, you know, I like to just guarantee I hit the pager thing. It's my pager. Better call Rachel. Better call Saul! I heard that series just ended, and I heard it's awesome, but nope, haven't seen it yet, so... Anyway. <clears throat> Actually, technically, I haven't seen, uh, I haven't seen, uh, Better Call, or, uh, Breaking Bad either. I only watched one episode. 
Not that it wasn't good. I just lost track of it like a lot of things. So. All right, let's go all the way into my room. 2.15. All right, let's call Rachel, see what we got to do. Rachel! Hey, beautiful. Red Crown Enterprises, this is Rachel. Don't you have a home to go to? It's more fun talking to you, sweetie. Oh, and I have a message from Ed. Let's hear it. He says he's going to be late getting back. Cool. Went out again, huh? Uh-huh. He went to see his friend in the LAPD. But I'm supposed to ask if you need anything. So do you? Why do I feel like if it was a mature rated game that it would be something else she would have said? You know, obviously she's just being flirty and sassy and all this other stuff. Probably going nowhere, but, you know, just have, being fun. You know, typical detective ca type of character. Not right now, but... But what? Come on, Kyle. If there's something I can do, just ask. All right, I need you to check something for me. And then she gets disappointed when he says that. She's like, oh, okay. You got a handsome. What am I looking for? I need information on a man named Oster's, Osterzone. That's a name? Yeah, exactly. I said the same thing. Yeah, Ostertone. Guy's a painter. Did a picture called Angel Opening a Door. Well, aren't you cultured? Well, I am a man of culture, aren't I? All right, sweetie. I'll call when I find something. Kind of curious why you need info on a painter, though. Tell you later. Really? You will? I'm looking forward to it. Uh, just get on it. <laughs> just get on it, babe. Oh, yes, sir. See you later, Kyle. Or, see you, Kyle. Yeah. It's part of the job, babe. Just leave me alone. Back off. No, I'm just kidding. Huh? Great. Who's that? Psst. 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 Lord, it's me. Hello. <clears throat> well, who would be, who'd be outside that door, huh? Well, let's uh, go check it out, I guess. Hello? Oh, it's Louie. Louie, Louie. I brought you know what from you know who. I'll distract the Dunning and borrow the spare office key, just like old times. Anyway, here you go, my man. The key to room 217. Quit shoving that stuff in my face. Okay, I grabbed it. Jeez. I got room 217 key from Louie. Or the key. Thanks, now I can get this show on the road. Just don't get nabbed while dunning or Rosa, okay? You can't let them know I boosted that key. Don't worry, if I get caught, I'll do my time like a man. <laughs> I'm a man, I'm 40! Actually, technically I am now. Hey, tell me something. Well, I say technically, but I am 40, so... You learn anything about that fountain pen? Come on, man. Asked Mr. Smith about it, but I struck out. Said nobody named Allen's been in here th in the last couple weeks or so. Yeah? Who'd you think it belonged to, man? I don't know, but I'm gonna hold on to it for a bit. I wanna check something out. No skin off my hump. I take the fountain pen from Louie. Give me that thing. Good, man, good. And it's back to the ground for me. Isn't like eight o'clock, seven to eight o'clock, so isn't it about time to call it for the day? Louis finishes yapping and heads off. Hmm. Well, before we head out, let's uh, mess with our suitcase for a bit. Yeah, I want to open it. Open it. Okay, so I want to, well, check inside. And oh wait, no, I need to. Actually, I need to. Uh, hold on. <clears throat> Need to go to my item inventory. All right, where's that red box? Okay. I want to use that on the suitcase. I stashed a small red box in my suitcase. No reason. I just wanted to stash it there, you know, just to, for grins. You know, just to make sure I don't have extra inventory on my person. So, you know, let's uh, head on out of here and check that room. 
Yep, let's just go straight into the room there. Don't check it. Whoa! What the? Jeff, what are you doing here? I think that's Jeff anyway. Yeah. What are you doing? <clears throat> oh, man. No. Uh, I'm not doing anything. And it looks like I should be asking you that with the way you're skulking around. Uh, apparently, uh, just to let you know that if you walk in a room 217 and just open it up, you get a game over. So Jeff catches you. Uh, so yeah, you want to talk to Jeff before you do that. So keep asking questions. So see where it gets you. Oh, forget it. What can I, what do I care what you're up to? Uh, I gave him a Louis voice by accident. Oh, well. Jeff goes back into his room and shuts the door. Moody little punk. Yeah, if, uh, if you... If you didn't catch Jeff, game over, so... But, uh, now we're good. Alright, let's uh, use the key on the door. Oops, use it. I used the key and opened room 217. So, now we can go inside. Well, that was a, that almost seemed like a Resident Evil type of move, you know, slowly creaking into the room or something like that, just in case there's any zombies inside. But so this is the room where the other Kyle High stayed a few months back. According to Louis, it hasn't been used since. Hmm. Well, let's take a quick look at things and see what uh, see what we got going on. How about the how about the bathroom? Bathtub's clean as can be. Louis on the job, I guess. There's a shower curtain around the bathtub. Let's see. Nope, okay, just checking. Toilet's clean. Good thing, too. I don't want anything to do with a dirty one. What, were you gonna stick your hand in there or something like that? Toilet paper. Man's best friend. Yeah, no more banana leaves. Fresh, clean towels. I'm definitely taking some of these with me. Yep, people always steal towels from hotels, you know, or motels, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, another sink you could eat off of. What are you doing with your life, Kyle? Mirror's, mirror's sparkly. Rosie even cleans the room that no one uses. What a trooper. Oh, she's doing the cleaning. A bottle of shampoo. Yep, that's going to be taken too. There's a light above the mirror. That's going to be taken as well. Now, people don't take the lights, although, you know, who knew? Who knows, man? Nowadays, you have to have, like, cameras and everything to uh, make sure, like, hotels don't, like, get, you know, everything taken from them, you know? Yeah, let's take a look at a hotel brochure, different from room, a uh, different room, same brochure. There's a painting on the floor. That's weird. Why is it there? Hmm. That's a picture of an apple. What the? What's this? I got an old photo that was sitting behind the painting. By the way, keep keep note of uh, the painting, uh, where the apple paintings are. Remember for later, viewers. There's a man and a girl in the photo. They look like father and daughter. Uh, why do we remember? Uh, no, no reason. Wonder who they are. Hmm. What about the picture? A painting of some apples. I still don't get why it's on the floor. Okay. Oh, can we? Nope, can't check the. May have to back out to check that stuff. A hotel brochure, different room, same. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry. Same phone I've seen in every other room. Yeah, why would they change it up? I can see the highway from the window. I can see my house from here. No, there used to be... Yeah, that's where the apple painting was. It looks like there used to be a painting here, but now it's on the floor. An ugly lamp is attached to the wall. Well, he didn't do anything wrong. You're a mean guy, Hyde. There's a lamp on top of the table. Nothing too interesting about it uh, there. Yeah. I'd love to just uh, to see just one bed that looked like it had been slept in. <laughs> it's just easier to program that, if anything. Okay, whoops, I don't know why I clicked that again. All right, anything else here? Yeah, about the TV. The television's not turned on. Too bad, I'd like to see the news. What news? What news would you like to see? It's a dresser. Oh. Oh, hello. It's a hotel envelope. There's some hotel letterhead here. Several sheets have already been used. There's a lighter in the drawer. This... I've seen this before. Now I remember. This is the lighter Bradley always used. Really? I mean, it looks like every other silver lighter, but, you know, or metal lighter or whatever. I got Bradley's lighter. 
This is proof. Now I know about the guy who stayed here six months ago. Oh, yeah, that is a big clue. If it is Bradley's. I mean, he said it was Bradley's, but like I said, that could be a generic lighter. You know, it was Bradley's. Or it was Bradley was here. Huh. Well, good thing we checked this place. Who knew it would actually turn in our favor? Could have been just some random red herring or something like that. That's under... The, what's under the TV? Oh, it's a fridge. Nice! Sorry for yelling. Just, I just think it was funny to say it like that. Uh, there's another wooden chair. Hope this place never catches on fire. Oh, that would that would be terrible. It's a round wooden table. Well, it's round, all right. We could put the knights of the round table around there or something like that, so... A tea set. Huh. Didn't know LA folks like tea so much. And they like sniffing their own backsides. <laughs> no. I don't know if you're from LA or whatever, so... No, I'm just... A restaurant menu is on top of the table. There's a tall lamp in the corner of the room. Yeah, well, all right. I think that's actually it for this place. Is I mean, obviously, it's a big clue that we find out that uh, Bradley had been here. I, I mean, according to the game, anyway. So let's get outside. And... All right, let's uh, head on out. So what the... Huh? Someone was in the hall. Oh, well, that's weird. Let's go back to our room just to uh, check things out, you know. What the? Uh-oh. Hey, the door's open. Someone just got... What the? There's a stain on the floor. Yeah, you can see it on the open thing there, so... Hmm. Well, someone apparently uh, jimmied our, our doorway or something like that, so... Oh, yeah, there's uh, now there's water all over the place. That's your basic sink, just like the one I got at home. I don't think there's any extra dialogue from these places. There's a mirror above the sink. Uh, there's some shampoo and stuff in front of the mirror. There's a lamp on the wall. Yeah, just going over the rigor roll. Got some towels on the shelf. Nice to see things in order. It's a toilet paper. This is hotels looking better and better all the time. Okay, yeah, I think I did all this already, but I'm just double-checking things again just to make sure. Because I don't remember every single variation in this game, you know. Uh, bathtub's clean. Let's, that gets a gold star in my book. There's a shower current around the bathtub. And it's been kind of a few weeks since I got to was at this point, so I might have forgot a few things. It's a toilet. Looks like the tank slid is a bit off kilter. Okay. Maybe I have to get it from a from another angle or something like that. Uh, or maybe. Sorry. Let's. Uh, it's not the. Uh, <coughs> Maybe I have to walk further into the room on that. Oh, yeah, I have to, have to, have to activate it. Sorry. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, wait, I'm supposed to be able to do something with the toilet. Why does it not let me do it? It's like, the floor is wet. Is it coming from the bathroom? Why is the floor wet? Water, dude. Water. Some detective you are. All right, now we can check the bathroom's toilet. Do we have new dialogue now? That okay, no, no new dialogue. So, okay, just making sure. Huh? Okay. What do you want me to do, game? It's a puzzle. <laughs> really? Turn the handle? Well, it's not doing anything. This stupid thing won't flush. Why not? Hmm. Well, let's try it again. Yeah, why won't it flush? Hmm. Maybe something inside the thing there? Eh, eh. Seriously? Eh, get out of the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's gotta be an easier way to do this. Like, seriously. Yeah, yeah. Get the thing off. I, I guess I was moving it too fast, because, yeah, you're supposed to be able to, like, really pull it off, you know? There we go, jeez. That took a lot just to remove the freaking toilet lid. What type of game are you making here, uh, uh, Sega or whatever the company that did this? There's something in the tank. It's cold hard cash. In a plastic bag. Ah, come to Papa. I got a stack, a fat stack of cash. No, I got a stack of cash that was hidden in the toilet tank. The cash was in a plastic bag. 
Uh-oh. Why do I feel like we're being uh, set up or something like that? I don't know. I just have a weird feeling. Money in the tank, huh? We'll just trick in the book. How did this get here? Well, until I find out, I probably shouldn't keep uh, this much cabbage on me. Yeah, that's a clue, viewers, by the way. Huh? Yeah. Oh, well, Kyle said it right after I did phone again. Well, let's check the phone before anything. Otherwise, we're going to hear that blurry noise all the time, so. The phone's ringing, dude. Thanks, Donnie. Better answer that. Is it Rachel again? I assume so. Hide. Hey, Rachel. What's wrong, hon? You sound out of sorts. What happened? Me and Trouble just had a little run-in. You, Trouble? I don't believe it. I found a stack of cash stashed inside my room's toilet tank. What? Seriously? Yeah, it looks to be about 20 large here. What's it doing in your toilet? Somebody has a high fiber diet. How the hell should I know? <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. So, what are you going to do? Or, so what are you going to do? Whoever stashed the loot in my john is somewhere in this hotel. I'm going to find him, and I'm going to ask him a few simple questions. With your mouth or your fists? How about both? Don't go and do anything too crazy, Kyle. The last thing we need is for you to get caught up in something dangerous. Hey, Darkwing Duck's my favorite uh, superhero. Let's get dangerous. Don't worry, you pretty head. I can take care of myself. Asking for moderation will get me nowhere, right? Hey, Moderation's my middle name. Now tell me about Osterzone. Call Moderation Hyde. I've got a friend who works in an art museum. She's looking into it. I'll give you a call as soon as I hear anything about your mysterious painter. Yeah, this is before the internet, folks. You couldn't just look up a computer and find all the information, you know. Do it. Talk to you soon. Yeah. You can tell just Kyle's just so used to her being flirty with him that he just kind of shrugs it off as just, you know, playful. And he's just like, yeah, whatever. All right, what's next? I wonder if anything else is going down in the hotel. I think I'll run around and see what's what. <laughs> he just nods. I'm like, hur, 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 hur. Okay, so before we head on, just like Kyle said earlier, we want to make sure to hide those fat stacks of cash. So let's go ahead and put the uh, um, the stack of cash in our uh, in our um, suitcase there. I hid the stack of cash in there. Now I also want to put some other things in there too, because there's some things I shouldn't be having. And with that whole cash situation, um, we don't want to be like we don't like who knows what's going on. So we want to hide the room key as well. suitcase all right and we want to do one more thing we want to put that memo we found too because you know you know you know we've been doing some things you know that weren't exactly legal quote unquote all right now we're done with that however we want to do one more thing before we you know continue on with the next area like i said this is all about you if you haven't figured out what's gonna what's happening when you know just uh let's just say you know, Kyle's being set up for something. Except for a fall, babe. Man, anyway, let's go back to Lennon's. <clears throat> and go inside, because remember, we have a few things from Lennon's we took a while back. I don't know if you have to do this one specifically, but I like doing it just to um, make sure. Alright, so yeah, the lockbox there, so let's make sure to put the, um, let's put the crowbar in there. Put that in there. Oh, you said uh, not gonna get anywhere having using this. Oh wait. Okay, never mind. Let's put the screwdriver in. Then. Maybe I have to. Oh, maybe I have to actually open the thing. I just know to put it uh, in the toolbox. Let's see if opening it does that. Okay, now I can put it in there. Sorry. For some reason, I thought I could could do it from the other side, but very picky game. Very picky. It's time to return this crowbar to the toolbox. Okay, that takes care of that. All right, cool toolbar, or crowbar. I don't know why I said toolbar. Screwdriver. Better put this screwdriver back in the toolbox. 
You and I never saw each other, okay? <laughs> uh, this game has a funny little sense of humor. I love it. Uh, okay, players. I think it's because Kyle plays it so straight, you can laugh at the fact he says stuff like that. And people say that to themselves all the time when no one's looking, you know? Okay, players, time to go home. Thanks for your help. And done. Okay. Actually, let me make sure my inventory really quick. Okay. Cool. I was just making sure I had what I needed. And uh, I don't not don't have anything that's questionable. So, all right. Let's. Uh, our next objective is to go back to the front desk and uh, check some stuff out. Especially maybe ask about that cash situation, or at least uh, get some uh, get some information going on. So. All right. Hello, front desk. I am here. What the? Jeff, what are you doing here? No, oh, whoops, I actually wanted to uh, talk to uh, Jeff, so. Okay, there we go. Hey, you got a minute? What? What are you up to? Seriously? You're looking straight at me and you can't tell what I'm doing? Oh, whoops. You're impersonating a tree? Hold it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I forget that if you don't immediately do the front thing, sometimes you'll have extra dialogue, but it doesn't happen all the time, so. Well, you need Dunning, right? Fill me in. I don't know. That's... I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Really? That's so? Oh, I'm sorry. Really? Is that so? Then I'll tell you, okay? I've got business with the front desk. That's why I'm standing here. I keep going into my cockney and asking into my uh, surfer lingo. Do you know? Do you understand now, or should I use small words? <clears throat> well, uh, okay. I mean, I mean, what else can you do? So, all right. Anyway, being such a jerk there. Let's try to check the before we head out. So let's check the TV. There's a TV at the end of the counter. Let's not mess with it. There's a power switch and a channel selector. What the? It's a children's cartoon. That like rabbit. That's from the the picture from earlier. There's a cartoon on. Yeah, I remember this one. Hmm, any other pictures? Oh, the news. Hey, it's the news. And uh, well, the following are the something forecasts, I think. Weather forecasts, I guess. No. Hey, it's the news. Oh, we, we already know about that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't think there's anything else we could actually check on that, so. Okay. <clears throat> I just want to show off that you could actually um, mess with the uh, mess with the TV and everything like that, so. All right, let's uh, go back up. Uh, we just want to mess with the uh, check on Jeff and see like why he's there and stuff like that. Okay, so we need to go back up to the second floor. And we need to find someone, so let's go back up there. All right, where are you? There you are. Rose is here. Huh? Someone's in the hall. Ah, it's Rosa. All right, Rosa. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm asking you. Oh, it's you. What are you doing? I had some business with Summer, but where is he? I don't know. He's not in his room. Ah, oh, things are never easy for Rosa, let me tell you. Gosh darn it, I have to get back to the kitchen right away. Yeah, go get back in the kitchen and make my, me a, a sandwich. No, I'm just kidding. Why do you need Summer? What do you want with Summer? Huh? What? What I want? What do you think I want? I want his autograph. Oh. That's right. It's not often we have a best-selling author stay here. I guess that's true. Most authors would go to, like, fancier places, you know. And you gotta strike while the iron's high, you know? Sure you do. Wait a minute. Now just wait one minute. Your showing up is giving me an idea, Mr. Hyde. I don't like this idea. You seem too excited. This doesn't sound good. Oh, hush now. Here, I want you to take this. What is it? It's one of Mr. Summer's novels, of course. 
It's kind of funny when she pantomimes handing it to you. Like, it's just uh, so unnatural. I mean, it's for the game mechanic, but it's still unnatural. I take Summer's novel from Rosa. Oh, the secret word. The name of the book is The Secret Word. Thanks, but I'm more of a sports page kind of guy. Don't get stopped with me, mister. Just get Mr. Summer to sign it, okay? Good. Look, I'm busy. Why do I have to? Because I have to get back to the kitchen, that's why. Now stop grumbling. Don't forget, Mr. Hyde. Don't you dare. Look, I'm not... Wait a second. Rosa turns and rushes away. Get back here, you rascally Rosa. Damn it. Well, now we've hit 7.20 p.m. So, all right. Now we want to go back to the front desk again. Yeah, I know that was a little bit weird to do that, but that's just how it is, man. Sometimes the game needs weird ticks to get activated, so. There's someone at the front desk. I wonder if Dunning's back. Oh, and Jeff again. That's... I'm telling you, that's why I'm here. I ain't trying to call you a liar or nothing. It's just... It's been stolen. There's no doubt about it. Well, let me see here. I'll demand that you stop looking. I want this hotel such now. Look, son, I mean, Mr... Look, son, I mean, Mr. Angel, do you... Do you me a favor, will you? Take one more look through your things. No, I've looked enough. You corn-fed hick. While I'm standing here repeating myself. It's been stolen, do you understand what I'm telling you? Get off your lazy butt and stop looking. Keep your voice down. Ain't no need to start with the screaming and hollering, the hooting and the hollering. You're just gonna get the other guests all to panic. Oh, God, care. See, besides, it's too late to worry about that. Look, that guy's already heard. He hardly seems panicked. Huh? Something happened? Yes, it has. Ain't nothing. We ain't just having a bit of a jaw, is all. <laughs> Jeff's not having a fun of that. Mr. Angel, let me get back to you in a bit. I'll come up to your room as soon as I can. Don't make me wait. Jeff storms away from the front desk. What was that about? Yeah, what was that about? Well, what was that about? What's going on in the hotel? Can Dunning make change for us? Is Kyle going to get wrapped up in something that he didn't really want to mess with? Find out next time in the next episode of Hotel Dusk, Room 215. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.